back to my channel. So today we're gonna go over my current favorite. setup but I thought that it would be really cool if we just sort of chilled out for a second every time I talk about my favorite things I sort of feel like I'm sitting down having a conversation with my girlfriend and I'm just like okay let me show you all this good stuff that I have found and I just got to show you so I wanted to sort of recreate that moment and I am just sitting in a spare bedroom in our house on the floor with a lot of blankets and covers trying to be like super cozy have some candles going <laughs> i just want to be super chill and just have like a conversation with you so we're going to talk about some of my favorite things i have all kinds of stuff over here on the floor next to me a little bit of everything so go ahead and throw on something super comfy like i have on right now just get really comfortable gonna get you a snack let's just sit and chat about some of my favorite products right now and if you love seeing favorites videos, give this video a thumbs up so I know that you're enjoying it and you want to see more from me. Also, if you want to see more and you haven't yet, definitely make sure and hit that subscribe button. If it is red, you're not subscribed. So yeah, without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into all of my favorite things. So first, let's start off with what I have on. I actually just got a new bralette from Airy, which is like the intimate side of American Eagle and I really really like it this is my first bralette that I've ever had and it is like this ivory whitish color I guess it's a halter top and it's just really comfy to wear around the house uh, if you don't want to put on a full blown out bra or if you have like a shirt that is going to sort of show off your bra and you don't want to wear like the typical normal bra then that's where a bralette comes in they have so many different colors i got it on sale i think it was 15 dollars. and you guys also did suggest that i shop at airy for my panties so that is what i did they did have a sale 10 for 35 and i racked up on instagram i asked you guys in a story if you're not following me on instagram then you should because i update on instagram multiple times a day i'm very active on instagram you can follow me at page danielle but you guys told me to check out airy for my under roonies and i did and i really really love them I'm not going to go too much into detail because i think that's your intimates and you should keep it private but i did get 10 pair lots and lots of panties but i think they're very good quality i think they were spot on as far as sizing goes i felt like victoria's secret which is what i've been wearing for probably wow way more than probably 10 10 or 15 years now i've been wearing the pink underwear from victoria's secret and then when i hit like 22 23 i started venturing out to the other side of victoria's secret and all of them i just felt like their quality was lacking and i was like i'm spending all this money in panties and none of this stuff is holding up so everybody suggested airy i did have a few other people suggest some other stores but for the most part it was airy and since they just had a sale i decided why not and i have worn two pairs and wash them and i also have tried on all of them and so far i really like them so there's that let's talk about some lip products i do have two that i want to mention this is clarence instant light lip comfort oil and this one is the mint one and it's very glossy it's not too sticky it is tacky feeling it is definitely one of those that if the wind is blowing and you have it on your hair will get stuck in your lips it is definitely one of those i typically put this on if my hair is going to be up or if i'm going to bed which my hair is up and um it will it does last for a good little while and because it's mint it does give me that tingly feeling which i love i was super sad that bath and body works got rid of their co bigelow line and they have like the minty the menthol lip gloss oh i love that stuff they have a ton of other different i guess flavors this is like a vanilla minty flavor you don't really taste it it's more so of a scent but i really like this the other lip product is this kills lip balm number one i ordered this online and if you're ever interested in any of the stuff that i talk about i will always have it linked down below in the description box and i always try to find the best price that i can for y'all so definitely check down there but this was i wanted a really good moisturizing night 
lip balm. Like before I go to bed, I want it to stay on most of the night. I did not want it to be sticky or tacky like this. I just wanted a really good lip balm that would stay in place and moisturize my lips at night. And this, I think, is doing a really good job. The only downfall of this is the packaging. Um, I think it would be a whole lot simpler if it had like the little top on it where you could just apply it, but you actually have to like squeeze it out on your finger and apply it. That's the only thing I don't like because then I got stuff on my fingers, you know? But it's not sticky. It says it's formulated with squalum, whatever that is, and antioxidant vitamin E. Our lip balm comforts, softens, and moisturizes dry lips. Apply liberally and allow excess balm to be absorbed. So I really, really like it. It wasn't that expensive, but my own, like I said, the only downfall I have is just the packaging. If they would just put an applicator at the end of it, that would be, that would be like hands down my favorite lip balm ever. But just because of that, it's not. Let's talk about a cleaning product. <laughs> this is gonna be like all over the place random. This is my new favorite right now, and it is the Method Daily Granite in the Apple Orchard scent. And I think they have another one which is like citrus or something. And I love citrus, but I love apple <laughs> like even more, especially because we're getting into fall. I am just so obsessed with all things fall right now. I mean, shoot, I'm, I'm obsessed with fall all year long. It's my favorite season. Winter's right after, then spring, then summer. Summer is my least favorite season but I love this not only because it smells amazing but it does an awesome job of cleaning our granite countertops it says shines granite marble and stone so I also use it to clean our um, stove top which is like a glass stove top I also use it to clean that and it does a really good job of getting any like food that I've cooked that might have might have hardened by the time I was able to clean it up so it does a really good job of all of that and yeah now let's talk about <laughs> a medicine, not really, but these are the Chewy Tums. I have such a hard time with heartburn, just, I guess I get it from my daddy. My daddy has acid reflux problems uh, and heartburn and stuff, so I guess I got that from him, but the older I get, the more it's just like, and, and I know I can make it easier on myself and just like not eat pizza or not eat anything tomato based, but I can't, I can't help it. Sometimes a girl's just gotta have pizza. So I'm just gonna have to use this. Um, I was using like the generic tablet ones, but those leave such a chalky, weird taste in my mouth. I seen these somewhere and I was like, Cody, when you go buy Walmart, pick these up, obviously, they're good <laughs> they taste good and they work because the bottle's empty so i gotta get another one i did get the small pack just to try it out but um they are this one's the assorted berry there were 32 of them in here they did a really good job and they didn't have that chalky finish in your mouth like i always feel like inside of my mouth was chalky feeling it left a weird taste but these don't do that they sort of remind me of a mentos the candy mentos so if you need some heartburn medicine <laughs> There you go. If you've been watching some of my last favorites videos, then obviously you know I'm on a perfume kick. And right now, my scent of choice is this Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs. Not only is the packaging screaming my name with all of these flowers, this is such a feminine, like grown woman status perfume. Like, I don't feel like a little girl. I feel like a woman. Man, I feel like a woman. It was seriously like I feel like I am a like a girl boss. Not no, not a boss lady, like a boss woman. Like I don't know what it is about this scent that makes me feel like that, but it smells so feminine and powerful, I guess. It's just like authoritative woman. <laughs> Let's get into some scents because this is not a favorite video without some scents. Right now, my favorite candle from Bath & Body Works, favorite candle of life probably right now, <laughs> is this Bourbon Sea Salt Caramel candle. It's giving me such fall vibes. I have burned it. We burn it almost every night now. This candle sits at our dining room table and it came out in the summertime. They always have like a scent that really reminds me of fall that comes out in the summertime that I think is more kitchen targeted, if that makes sense. Like I feel like this smells like something you would cook for Thanksgiving Day. And it says on the bottom, it's barrel aged bourbon, soft caramel, and coarse sea salt. It is so good. 
the throw is so good. You can smell it all throughout the house. It's just perfect. I feel like it's the perfect merging into fall. If you're not ready to commit to fall just yet, I feel like this is perfect. So, I also love the packaging with the marble and the wood. I did change out the lid because the little sleeve I have it in is gold, but I love, love this candle. Next sense like item is going to be this essential oil. This is the Good Night Synergy Blend from Eden's Garden. We have been obsessing over this oil. Like I don't go to bed at night without putting this in our diffuser in our bedroom. It is so good. It has lavender, clary sage, yingling, chamomile, capoba, pura balsam, um, sandalwood, sweet marjoram, and that's it. <laughs> so, um, we diffuse this every single night before we go to bed. I love this stuff. It smells so good, so relaxing. It's got a little bit of a sweetness to it. I just, I really love this. Last in the scent, I guess, department is this wax melt. You guys know I also love melting wax as much as I do burning it. So this is from the Sensational brand in Walmart and this is the No Place Like Home. It says sweet cinnamon and warm clove. This is so strong and spicy. Like it is strong. Um, I'm running low on it but if you once again if you're looking for a scent going into fall I love this all year round because it's super homey and spicy cinnamon and you know warm scents like that really make me feel comfortable and at home. So I love scents like that year round but if you're looking for something like I said to transfer into fall I think this is perfect because of the cinnamon and the clove. But if you want something that is strong this is it. Like You will be able to smell it all throughout your house for, for hours and hours. So. I love this. Another product, or I guess products, that Optimally sent me, and I am obsessed with, um, these are the Estee Lauder. This one is the Advanced Night Repair, and then this one is the Revitalizing Supreme Plus. These are the bomb. Like, you can use them. I've been using this one in the jar morning and night, and this other one I like to use at night. You put this one on before your moisturizer, so I do this first, and then I put this on top of it. Oh, the packaging is so luxurious. I mean, of course, it's Estee Lauder, but I am just, I'm obsessed, like obsessed completely. This next item is totally random, but my husband won this koozie cup thing at work, and it is the Yeti koozie rambler. Like, I don't even know how to explain it, but pretty much the whole concept is you twist off the top and, and, You twist off the top and you can put in a canned beverage or something that's in or like a glass bottle kind of situation um, and you just slip it inside of there and you retwist the top and this thing will keep your canned drinks or your bottle drinks super cold like this thing has been sitting in here while I was running around trying to collect all the items to show you it's been sitting here probably an hour and it is still just as cold as it was when I took it out and another thing that I wanted to talk about that was my new favorite is the LaCroix drinks now I have been trying to drink these drinks for months I bought two different cartons uh, or two different cases of two different flavors trying to make myself like them because I love soda. I love Coke. I love vanilla Coke. I was trying to find a better alternative than drinking drinks. And the LaCroix carbonated waters, of course, has nothing in them. No carbs, no fat, no sodium, no nothing. They were completely zero. And it's just, I think it's because they're so carbonated. There's just something weird about them that I just... After like three sips, I'm done. Like I can't do it anymore. And it's the, I guess it just doesn't have enough flavor for me. So, and I should have brought it in here to show you, but the little flavor like droppers, um, you can get them at any grocery store. I think they're called Mio or something, but they're like little droppity drops that you can drop in. But you have to look at the ingredients on the back of those to make sure that they don't have anything in them. But the ones that I have, I got them from Food Line. They don't have anything in them. They don't have any of the aspartame, which is, I think, what they put in drinks to make them sweet. So they don't have that. It's so good. I put literally a drop or two, literally, like, there's hardly none in here. 
and it makes it taste so good. Like, I can drink it. This is the second one. So if I have to drop a drop or two of that in here, that is so much better than me going to the store to get a vanilla Coke because there's so much carbs and stuff in that and there's nothing in this. So I think, you know, hopefully over time, I will stop having to drop anything in there and just be able to drink these by themselves, but. <laughs> if you guys follow me, on social media then you know I love me a sheet mask. I had sort of fell off of it for a little bit and I wasn't really wearing them as often as I was but I've really gotten back on that so I did want to talk about some of the ones that I am loving. I have not used these yet obviously they're still in the packaging but I love this name brand the Tony Moly. I think I seen this in Airy when I was in there. I didn't get them I already had them. I ordered mine off Amazon and I will have them linked down below. Um, I think that was like the best deal, but I think they're at like Urban Outfitters, I said Airy, a couple other different stores, but I think I got a 10 pack of all different kinds. I love these. Um, they have so many different ones. This one is the Skin Purifying and the Brightening, but I just love all of them and I will do my regular skincare routine. I will throw this in right before I do like my moisturizers and spot treatments, but my skin feels so good after I do this. Sometimes I just put this on and don't even have to worry about touching my skin anymore. So I love sheet masks. Last but not least, I did show this when it came in on Instagram. <laughs> I keep saying Instagram, but I really do tell everything on there. This set from Cookie Cosmetics came in and I was like, oh, I was so excited. I got it from Octoly. This is a gel polish set. So it comes with the LED lamp, two gel polishes, the gel base and top coat, the primer, the nail buffer and the file, and the gel cleanser wipes. I really like this. A couple months ago, I bought the Sensational one from Walmart and I liked it. It was okay. The lamp, I think overall, everybody's lamps are going to be about the same, but I think the polish is what made such a difference with this. My nails hardly ever want to hold polish. Like, it will chip and just literally peel off in no time, no matter what I do. And the Sensational brand, while I thought the color selection was really nice, it just didn't, when I was painting it on, it almost as if it like collected in spots. And I would have to like put on layer after layer just to get it to do what I wanted it to do. And I'm really good at painting nails, at least I think so. Out the so I was really disappointed. I've tried so many different ones. If you did not know, I'm a licensed cosmetologist and I have done nails in a salon in between clients before for years. So I've tried the CND, I've tried shellac, I've tried gelish, I've tried a lot of different ones, and I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money in an at-home kit. This kit right here, if you're looking for an at-home kit, I, I suggest this one over the Sensational brand because the polish is the bomb. Like, you can go one coat and it's lasted so long. They say that it only lasts up to two weeks. Mine's lasted a week, which is good. Like, it's so good for me because Sensational, the gel polish lasted two days and I tried it again and tried it again and I've done it the correct way. I will cap off my ends. I will not paint on my cuticles. Like, I do it the right way and still it peeled off. So, the first time I done it, I was trying to get used to the consistency. It lasted for five days. The next time, it lasted a week. So, when I paint them again, it should last even longer because I'm still getting used to it. It's been a while since I used gel polish, but if it, if it lasted that long, I think that's everything I wanted to mention. Comment down below letting me know what is your current favorite ride or die product that you got going on. Anything, whether it's something that you eat or something you put on your face or wash your hair with or wash your body with or light a candle that you've been lighting. I don't know. Just comment down below letting me know what is your favorite thing you got going on. You guys always suggest the best things. If I don't already know about it, y'all will tell me about it. And that's what I love. I love finding out about new things. That's why I love making these videos. That's why I love watching them. So I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day. And thanks for watching, y'all. Bye. Obsession has never been this close. And the matter if I rather just lock myself indoors. I'm righteous in this virus.